Epic Antifa-Storms March for Jesus, Blocks Road. Then look what God did. Antifa has become pretty much the most hated group in America as they openly promote communism and basically everything else against American values, and when they interrupted a March for Jesus, one of them learned the hard way that God always gets the last laugh. Several members of the militant terror group stormed the March for Jesus event on the Saturday before Christmas, delivering a message of hate and proclaiming that communism will one day take over America. The agitators had megaphone and shouted at the peaceful group of people celebrating the life of Jesus, all while a masked kid proclaimed the cross is a white supremacist symbol and that the peaceful people basically hated everyone who isn't Christian. Their obsession with their holiday, their obsession with freedom of speech marks that they want to hurt people, he said, the Independent Journal reported. Meanwhile, a members of the Christian group could be heard saying over a PS system that this isn't a funeral, this is a party for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Apparently, his peaceful commentary triggered the Antifa group, so the activist with a megaphone shouted back at the Christian group that communism will win. That's not a joke. That will happen. It will win because we must go down to single class society. What happened next couldn't have been any more perfect. A video posted by Ropley shows one of the anti agitators attempting to flee the peaceful demonstration. As he and his buddies are trying to block a busy road, the most epic thing possible happened. He was hit by a friggin' truck. Boom. Apparently God wasn't too happy with these rejects interrupting a demonstration celebrating his son. In an ironic twist, the very people these nitwits were protesting ran over to assist the injured Antifa member. As it turns out, he suffered a broken hip from the impact, and was rushed to the hospital to receive medical treatment. Suffice it to say, God works in mysterious ways, doesn't he? If you enjoyed this story, be sure to follow Sean Brown on Facebook.